All right, this video is on a dolly for a John boat. Uh, I got sick and tired of having to carry my boat down to the river, and I couldn't take the trailer down there because where I launched my boat, you can't have any motorized vehicles down there. Uh, I'm actually launching it at a park for free instead of spending 30 bucks to launch it down at the the launch ramp 30 bucks will cover my bait and everything else that i normally take with me to go fishing so i normally just launch for free but anyway i went and bought this dolly off ebay for 33 bucks uh, when i got it in the mail Came with these cheap, these cheap wheels right here, plastic rims. Both of them were flat; they wouldn't hold air, not for very long anyway. I filled these up; they're rated for 30 psi. I put 20 in them. Came out the following morning, and the rims were basically blown to smithereens and there was pieces of plastic all over my floor out here. So for starters, the tires are junk. So don't waste your money there. So I thought maybe since the tires were junk, I would replace them with some different tires. I extended these out with some steel tubing and I added some hard rubber tires off of just a regular two-wheel dolly. There's no air in these, they're just hard rubber. That way I wouldn't get stuck with a flat when I'm by myself out there trying to haul my boat back. And the problem with that was my tires were no longer going flat but this whole chassis on this is so flimsy that you can't really haul anything other than maybe a fiberglass canoe or something like that with this thing. It just kept bowing so bad that the tires would actually touch this. And it actually did that before I, before I even put the other wheels on the outside. I was actually running four wheels uh, basically a dually on both sides I had two at one point in time and this whole thing here was still flexing so basically what I ended up doing don't waste your money on anything like this it's a piece of shit what I ended up doing is I took just a regular two-wheel dolly. I took the strap off of this, and I have everything in here, by the way. I got this loaded down. That's full of fuel. I got the motor sitting in here just to equalize the weight into the center of the boat for when I move it. Take you a regular two-wheel dolly, just like this and cut the plate off the back of it. There's the plate right there that I cut off. Just cut it around the tubes on both sides. Take that off. Just like this. And you got you a solid steel, reliable boat dolly for cheap. And it's beefy. Tires won't go flat. It actually lays on there better than the other dolly. It fits in between both of those lines right there. And it moves really easy. I'm moving this with one hand. 
fully loaded. And if you leave the handle on it, I got a jack stand on the back of it right now just to keep it propped up, but when you're out on the river, if you leave the handle on it, it actually acts as a stand so you can set it down on there. Fits right up against it. Perfect for a John boat. Flat bottom boat. This is a 12 foot generation three. 